Marco Colbert, Speed of Cobra Finish Network. All right, so you probably clicked on this video because you have an extremely worn driveway just like me, and you're trying to see if you can buy some time just like me. So the reason I'm trying to take a whack at this myself, guys, is as everybody knows, it's still, we're in a pandemic, and uh, we have a serious labor shortage. So to get somebody out here to do a little, you know, 30 by 40 driveway, a small job, three to five grand, nobody's going to come out and do it. But as you guys very well know, I'm a pretty good general handyman, and I think that this is something we could tackle ourselves. So a few things you're going to need before you tackle a job like this yourself. You're going to need yourself a good shot back. If your driveway is as worn as mine, you are going to have loose gravel and debris everywhere. And on top of that, you're going to have dirt inside of all those little cracks. You got to vacuum them up, simply trying to broom them out. And you, yeah, you can use a blower that helps as well. So what I would do is I would, I would use the vacuum and I come right behind it with the blower. Um, between the blower and the vacuum, we got 80% of the, you're not going to get every little speck of dirt out of the driveway. It's just, it's literally impossible. We've got the Blackjack Max, uh, 10 year driveway sealer. I mean, for the extra five, 10 bucks, you guys might as well just get the best stuff. It's got a lot of things that the cheap sealers don't have. It has UV protection. It's fortified with poly polymers and urethane. It's also got a little bit of sand in there. So it helps with shrinkage. So the goal for today is we're just going to go ahead and test out the sealer, start sealing up some of the areas that are ready just to be sealed. Then tomorrow we'll finish up our concrete work, finish sealing up the whole thing, and then we'll see how it looks. All right, so it's the next day. We got a little bit of sealing done. Um, it did get a little bit dirty, but this stuff actually does wash off pretty good. And it still looks better than what it was before, so I'm not too upset about it. So now we got the uh, blackjack patch. And all we're doing is we're just kind of sealing that edge of the concrete. If you don't, basically this is what's gonna happen. Like you see, we got this little piece here and boom, breaks off. So what this is gonna do is, this is basically just gonna lock in that edge and keep it nice and fresh and help it from cracking. You guys how to apply this. This is like super self-explanatory. Just take a scoop out, put a little bit right, right along your edge, just a little bit. You don't wanna cake it up too much, okay? And then boom, spread it out. Just, along, just enough to lock in that edge. It's all you're trying to do. Perfect. Nice thin coat. And one thing I know with this stuff is you don't want to cake it on too thick. Because if you do, I believe this is like a latex based product. It will crack. It will shrink. Just nice thin coats is, is the key with this stuff. All right, guys. Final stages of restoring the driveway. We got all this concrete patched up nice. As you guys can see, I had to do it in a couple different days because it kept running out of concrete. So it looks kind of patchy, but it's better than a big dirt hole that was, well, trench that was running through here before. So um, we have one full solid driveway. We got our last bit of seal. We're just gonna roll it out. I know you're supposed to let the concrete dry a little bit longer. We've only had it sitting for a couple days, but we're going to get it all sealed up while it's fresh and porous. So this stuff is really easy. You just dump it out and uh, dump it out of your bucket. I find it's easy to just dump it out all at once and just roll it out as you go. So that is going to wrap it up for part one of this driveway restoration. Um, it's been about three or four months. As you guys can see, it's still holding its color pretty good. Um, not peeling up too much. It's still has got a decent color to it. Some of these sealers can hold dirt a little bit easily and uh, kind of throw that color off. I like to just kind of wash my cars on the driveway, just kind of get the water flowing on them and keep them clean. 
as you guys can see this image here, we still have a little bit of alligator cracking. Um, so we're going to do a part two. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, new videos every week.